Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. In today's video, we're looking at the unboxing of the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 4 Vulture Droid, released in 2023. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I am a massive fan of the CIS and also the Trade Federation, so for me, picking this up was a no-brainer. But anyway, back to this ship. I dig it, and I can't wait to crack this thing open. So what we're going to do is quickly look at the box, rip that thing open, see all the little pieces that come with this, and then we're going to take a look at the droid and that beautiful starfighter. So let's get cracking. All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy on the bottom. We have Vulture Droid, number 34, Micro Galaxy Squadron. It comes with one battle droid, which is cool. Look at that ship. Nice. Now, this one does feature some moving parts and extra pieces. As we can see here, the legs are in a walker formation, like we saw in some of the episodes and movies. Pretty cool. You have Star Wars. And then we have this cool art which does feature a Jedi Starfighter. So, like always, we'll try and look at the art. We have Series 4. On the side of the box, we can see pieces on the bottom. Pretty cool. For the other side. Sharp. The top. And the bottom with the copyright crap. For the back of the box, you can see that the wings do open. It does have some sort of cockpit, which is interesting. Right here we have our projection, the hologram, which looks pretty cool. We have our card, which I like how, instead of it being in the fighter formation, it's in the walker formation for this side, and then the fighter one for here, which is kind of unique. Then on the bottom, we have the TIE Interceptor, the A-Wing, which is pretty cool, but it does have its problems. You know if you know. And then for the chases, we have the Emperor's Guard TIE Fighter and Luke's Land Speeder, which I have not seen in the wild yet. But pretty cool nonetheless. I would love to get my hands on these, but chases are hard to come by. So, lots to see. Okay, let's get right in there. Ah! <laughs> Man, everybody loves when I rip the box, I guess. I, I don't know. But uh, let's see, whatever remains of the art. Pretty interesting. I like that the Jedi Starfighter has blue laser bolts. Pretty cool. Anyway, we'll put that to the side. Crack this open. Look at the art on the bottom. And pretty interesting. So I had to stop the video because this really caught me off guard. We have Bo-Katan's Gauntlet Fighter right here. Then we have the A-Wing Starfighters at the top. And the card back has Anakin Skywalker's Jedi Starfighter with Vulture Droids. Maybe I'm missing something. I know in Rebels, uh, we did have the A-Wings. We did have some droids in there. But I don't remember all four vessels being together in one type of situation. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, maybe my memory is slipping. But regardless, this is a pretty cool piece of art. Nicely detailed. So I'll put that to the side. And let me grab this. Here we have our battle droid. Which looks pretty interesting. So let's get a closer look. For the battle droid, its height is 2.7 centimeters, or 1.06 inches. For its weight, it's 0 0.40 grams, or 0 0.014 ounces. For the colors, it only has, I think, two, tan, and also this glossy paint that's on some of it. As you can see, the backpack doesn't have the gloss that the rest of the body does. I don't know. I wish it had a little more paint, but it is what it is. For the articulation, the arms can rotate all the way around, which is pretty cool. And at the waist, the legs can bend. All in all, pretty cool minifigure. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. So now what everybody wants to see 
the Vulture Droid. Put all this garbage to the side, get it out of our way. Okay, and here we have our Vulture Droid which looks pretty interesting. Now, just by looking at it, I could tell it does have some moving parts. And I believe, as the Transformers fans say, it does have some parts forming going on. Because besides the ship itself, or droid, we do have legs. One set that I guess would attach to the side. Very detailed, pretty neat. Um, It's not really a ball joint. It's basically just a swivel if you will but pretty interesting hmm so let's get a close-up of the vessel first and then we'll get into all the moving parts for the vulture droid its length is 10.5 centimeters or 4.13 inches for the weight it comes in at 30.35 grams or 1.07 ounces for the paint, it has about seven different colors. We have light tan, tan, a light brown, black, red, metallic gray, and a nice brown wash, which I really think makes all the details pop. To be honest, I can't wait to see the CIS color scheme version. I have it in the box, I never opened it yet, but it does look very striking. I guess some could argue that the color scheme should be a little darker, but on the whole, I really do like this ship quite a bit. Looking at the wings of the Vulture Droid, when it comes in the package, they are sealed shut. It looks kind of neat. I do love this ship very much. So to open them, grab the center, and you'll hear all these little pops. To lock it in place and you can see some laser cannons in there which is kind of cool and that goes for both sides you can see it's really neat looking i think they did a nice job with this pretty nice so now to alternate the legs what you're going to want to do first is close these wing sections up And the reason for that is that if you don't see how thin the plastic is, you know, you really don't want to break these bad boys. So you're going to close this up. That way the plastic's a little bit stronger, as you can see. Hold it tight and just wiggle back and forth. And when it pops out, you can see it's just a friction joint, like a peg. So you put that to the side. This one just came right out, which is cool. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your legs. This one says R2, so that's for the right. See, it locks right in. And this one says L2 for left. Ooh, that's a little snug. There we go. So it looks pretty cool. These just uh, rotate. There's no ball joints or anything like that. So they're not going to go in and out, but they do go forward and back about that far. And for the head, you can see that there is two little things to put your nail under. So I'm going to move this. Pops right out. And then this can move forward. So that's pretty cool. Let's get this on that turntable. Looking at the Vulture Droid with its legs extended, for its height, it's 10.2 centimeters or 4.01 inches tall. And for its weight, it's 31.2 grams or 1.1 ounces. I really like how this looks. Now the neck has a hinge joint and a ball joint, so you could tilt that head, get it into some nice different poses. Sadly though, the legs are just basically uh, swivels for the most part so they can only go back and forth so you can you're not going to get any varied articulation out of it like you would if it was a ball joint may not have the articulation some people might like but 
the ship does look cool. So pretty nice. I do like how this looks. So the interesting thing is underneath the droid head or the brain, if you will, we have a little clip here, as you can see right there. And that's so you could take your battle droid and forgive my uh, large hands, but you just slide in the battle droid like so. And you can fit into your droid which the storage is kind of neat. I do like that function quite a bit. What do you guys think? And that does it for the unboxing of the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 4 Vulture Droid released in 2023. In short, I like this thing. I think it looks beautiful. The mold is fantastic. Uh, the paint also does a lot of justice to the mold. We have a couple different colors working together with guess what, a wash to fill in those lines and panels, and it just brings it more to life. Like sure, it's a piece of plastic, but the paint does make a difference. I really, really enjoy this. And I love the fact that when you buy one, technically you have two different ways to play or display it. You could have it in its droid walker formation, as I like to call it, or you could pose it like it's flying around, like I have in front of you. All in all, a great piece, with a very cool minifigure as well. I love the battle droids. I really recommend this if you could find it. And that's basically everything I have to say about this piece and the unboxing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody. That's for right. Let me push a little harder. K.O. Ken. Oh, that's snug. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh-oh.